in our first conversation with Warwick Barnard. Well, I think where the passion started was pretty much in my in my school days. You know, I was born in in Grahamstown, uh, which isn't too far from from where we are today. And uh, I joined uh, Shamwari Game Reserve as a as a tour guide. Um, and that really confirmed for me that I wanted to be involved with, with wildlife. And, uh, and I studied nature conservation for, for three years. And it wasn't long after that, I, I found myself in a, in a lecturing position in, in wildlife management. And that really became uh, my direction for, for a period of about 10 years, was the development of, of game reserves and managing the conservation aspect within the ecotourism environment. And slowly but surely that has grown and developed and, and we now offer uh, ecotourism, um, hunting, meat production, on top of the, the wildlife breeding side, which is really our core focus of the business and, and where we put most of our, our focus. We continue our conversation and hear more about Woody Cape wildlife. Yeah, the, the Eastern Cape was always going to be a, a natural choice for me, you know, because I'm, I'm from Grahamstown. I was at a really solid school, Graham College, uh, that used to be victorious in all derby matches against the other schools. So I've got a, a really strong holding uh, with Grahamstown and, and with, with the frontier country. Um, and having spent time on Shamwari, Kwandwe, Lalibela, Blaubosch, um, I understand the Eastern Cape, I understand the vegetation, I understand the people. So it was really a, a natural choice for me to come back to the Eastern Cape and, and invest um, in the wildlife industry here yeah, together with, with my partners. So when we initially started discussions, uh, we were looking at, at probably going more in the direction of hunting, but knew that there needed to be a, a breeding element to it to be able to supply the, the hunting side of the business. And we wanted to find a, a property that really ticked all the, all the boxes for that hunting purpose, uh, which, we, which we're still uh, looking for. Um, but with the, the development of the breeding side on the side, uh, we really concentrated on, on that and, and wanted to excel in all avenues of, of the wildlife industry. And, and that is why uh, we, we decided to in, invest predominantly in, in buffalo, being a sought after species in, in the hunting industry. And we wanted to breed top end buffalo and that meant having to go out and find the very best genetics we, we could find. And uh, we entered the market when, when prices were high, but we really believe in the industry and we believe in having top end genetics, uh, which will always be sought after. And, and while we never had a problem with paying the money that we did to bring those top genetics in, to bring them into production, to produce what in future is going to be the top genetics of, of buffalo. And we've applied that same model to the other species that we've become involved with, the, the sable side, the Inyala side, um, and, and all our common species as well. We believe in, in bringing in top-end genetics and, and improving it continuously. So that was really the, the mindset from, from the beginning. Uh, we wanted to be established in the Eastern Cape. We feel it's a, it's a growing node within in the industry. Uh, it makes things a lot easier having come from the area and, and knowing the area and uh, and we've established ourselves and very comfortable where, where we are. The Eastern Cape has definitely become a, a force in the in the industry and uh, I'm extremely proud of what what the Eastern Cape has done uh, within the wildlife industry. Well we knew it was in, important right from the outset that we needed to grow within all avenues of, of the wildlife industry. We, we knew that all of these different sectors within our industry uh, integrate together and we wanted to be a part of the wildlife industry and we wanted to contribute in all of these sectors and once you've got the base on which to operate you can offer all the different parts of, of the wildlife industry uh, and that is ecotourism and we're sitting at, at one of our camps uh, Burlington Bush Cottages now which is uh, a tourism uh, commercial operation uh, which has been very successful for us 
Uh, we also involved with the, uh, with the game meat production side. So from our, our management of game stocks is a very important element, but it's also something we feel is, is very important for the industry. We, we are not consuming enough game meat in this country, and it's something that we need to drive. And uh, we are pushing it uh, from Woody Cape side together with, uh, with two other game farmers. We've consolidated and, and put a, a really good abattoir together and we're going to be producing good quality venison for the, for the local market. So as I've mentioned, all, all these different uh, areas of, of the game industry are, are very important and equally so the, the hunting part of it. Uh, we have a, a base, as I've mentioned before, that comprises of a number of different game species and those game species need to be managed and we need to generate revenue off these different components within our business and, and hunting is, is a very important part for us. Uh, so trophy hunting, biltong hunting are two big components of our business and uh, they relate very well to the breeding side of the operation. So everything integrates very well together and, and that's what we were after right from the start is developing a, a business that is able to benefit from multiple areas within the industry. Next time when we continue our conversation with Warwick next to the campfire. Buffalo were always the number one choice for us in terms of a species to breed. And, and I think that really comes from, from the hunting side. The, yeah. the quality needed to be there, the bloodlines needed to be there. Uh, we've got a, a full-time research department that focuses on this stuff and make sure that before we go to an auction or before we make a private purchase, we've done our homework. Tried to work out which are the bloodlines I really want to focus on. Which are the bloodlines that will work best with the bulls that we've achieved over, over time, that we managed to purchase over time. Uh, it's, uh, it's putting back something that was, was taken out and, uh, and it's sustainable. It's become a business. It's, and uh, it's uh, hugely successful to, to conservation because at the end of the day, conservation is sustainable utilization. And we must never lose focus on that. And that is important to us.